All right. Hopefully it stays clear. What is that across the street? You gotta listen pretty close because you can hear um you can hear supposed to be able to hear children crying. That looks pretty deep. Oh, it's not fucked up. My camera's a little foggy, sorry about that. It was un under the air conditioning and I didn't think about it. But the story on the bridge, this is the old Reinhardt, um, old Reinhardt Pass bridge. And the bridge has been rebuilt, um, I think in 2000, but don't quote me on that. Turn. But the story is that this is Wachula is on the other side of the bridge here. The town of Wachula. Okay, the story is in the late 1800s there was a um, a wife and a husband ex-slave that moved here and she was a midwife they moved here from Georgia and it said that when she was a midwife, that she would oh, she would deliver children. It's called Bloody Bucket Bridge. Um, and you can see the full moon up there. It's, and the clouds are right in the way. But, um... Okay, in the late 1800s, the ex-slave and... What was that? Her and her husband moved here from Georgia. She was a midwife and she worked, she helped people deliver their babies in town. Now this is just a legend. I don't know how real it is. And when the babies were born, she would fill the buckets with the, the blood from given birth, like the afterbirth and stuff, and dump, put it in a pail and dump it off the bridge. And she would uh, babies and bury them in the woods. I want to focus.
Let me turn this off for a minute. There. Okay, she would bury them here in the woods. And if it's right, it would be on that side of the bridge. You're supposed to be able to, on a full moon, you're supposed to be able to hear splashes and children screaming from the woods. I can hear splashing. I just want to make sure no gator or anything comes up. Um, and the water was supposed to, is supposed to, when you look off the bridge at night, the water is supposed to be like a blood red color from her dumping the stuff in. Well, there's, two, there's a couple of different stories about it. From her dumping the buckets in or, um... When the townspeople realized that she was uh, children and burying them, she said that they would, they were stillborn. She would say that they, the children were stillborn, and that's when she would bury them. Um, so there's supposed to be all kinds of paranormal activity, but after the townspeople stopped her from, um, being the midwife, they, um, she would always see buckets filled with red, with blood, and she would bring it down to the river and dump it, and it ended up, the two stories, one is she ended up jumping off the bridge into the water and drowned because she couldn't swim, and the other story is she fell in when she was dumping the water, so, and this is just a legend, supposedly. Um, nobody knows if there's much truth behind it, which there could be, because behind legends, sometimes there is truth. But that's, uh, I want to keep watching for, to see if we see anything or hear anything. There is traffic here and there. And I brought some stuff to put out. Oh, that's fishing wire. Somebody must have... dropped it. Um, I brought my spirit box and stuff. I want to do spirit box and see if we get anything. I didn't see stuff moving in the water. I just want to make sure there's no gators. So let me set up the spirit box. Oh, I should have brought my tripod down here. see anything with it. Oop. 
I have this here turned on. Okay. My name is Thomas. You can talk into this black box if you want and uh, communicate with us. And we would love to hear if this legend is has any truth to it. Can you tell us what your name is? Was it real that you dumped children over the bridge? Or is there blood over the bridge? Can you tell us how many children you, you, did, you did this to? Were you the midwife? Did you drown in this river? Good. I don't know if you can see, there's something big over there. I don't know where it went. You can see it swimming right through the water. And the water is really dark because of the cannons. <laughs> Yeah, there's flashes. Are we safe here? Am I safe here? Do you still haunt this place? I'm going to shut this off. There's something in the water. I just want to um, make sure I can get away if it's a gator. Is there anything you would like to tell us? Can you show your car? Can you tell us some of the names of the children that died here? Are the children still here? Still buried here?
he okay? I wanted to go up on the bridge, but there's a lot of traffic. Oh, I thought there was a person. Oh, you can see pretty good through the camera. Okay, I'm gonna shut this off now. Can you say goodbye? Thank you for talking with me. Good night. Stinks bad. You can smell something dead close by. Maybe that's part of the story. Let's go for a walk. Oh, yeah, there's... It smells really bad. There's dead fish. Ew. Sounds like something walking in the weeds. There's a bug over here, but or a bird or something. But I could hear that. And now she walks up and down the shore. People have seen her, her spirit walking up and down the. the the bank along with children screaming in the woods um, at midnight on a full moon I think I'm forgetting something the um, ooh, what was that there's a car but Um, let's see what else. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but now this is only a legend. It doesn't say that it's true. There's no facts behind it. But it was in the early 1900, late 1800s, um, when this started. So they didn't keep records back then, very, um, very good records. So who knows?
Let's see. Let's go up here. Let me get a picture of the moon. This is the part of the woods be by the river. That smells really bad. I wanted to see if there was anything you could hear or see. I don't know, can you see the bridge? Can you hear that? The car's running, but um, I can hear something over here, over this way, walking. You're supposed to be able to see her spirit walking along the bank. I think that would be neat to see. Oh, did you hear that? It sounded like a person screaming. I can hear an ambulance or a fire truck or something. Sirens. But it's quite a ways away. <gasps> something just jumped in the water. This part of the story, too, you can hear stuff jumping in the water or falling in the water. Ooh, what's back there? Wow. Can you hear it? Is that a light? It looks like a light back there. Let me turn this off. Can you see it? That could be a light from somebody's house or something. It looks like it goes down right there. Ooh. Wow, my battery died. I don't know what that is. That's disgusting. <clears throat> I don't know what it is. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this adventure, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.